Hey, my Lipton. So I wanted to come in here, do a quick video discussing the shows I'm looking forward to in 2024 slash 2025. But before I get started, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, please like, comment and subscribe to Ronnie Lipton. It is free. Let's get let's get up to 800 subscribers. The goal is to get up to a thousand, and I appreciate all the new subscribers that has arrived to my channel. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all for taking the time to be, you know, watching my videos. And you know, the last video that I just did did so well. I appreciate all of you guys, all of the, you know, the different opinions, and you know, and I love interacting with all of you. Um. And I, and I just appreciate it and it's, I'm, I'm very grateful. So thank y'all so much. You know, let's keep the channel growing. Let's get up to a thousand, um, subscribe, 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 and let's get into this video. Um, first I do want to talk about, um, you know, the first show I am at this point, I am interested in watching, you know, I did have my critiques and that sort of thing. And I am a little bit scared to see what's going to happen with Avatar, the last airbender, um, you know, I'm very apprehensive and very like, oh my gosh, like this is such a childhood show of mine, you know, on top of that, the creators left the show. So I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Netflix, Netflix, what's going on, Netflix? But, um, and, uh, but you know, I'm going to give the show a chance. Okay. I am going to give it a chance. It is coming in, ja I think in January, I think January or February, one of those two months. I'm forget I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting, but I, I, I will be watching. I will be watching, I will be watching, I will be giving my reviews. Um, I'm doing this solely based on nostalgia. <laughs> I'm doing this solely based on nostalgia, okay? Like, Avatar, Last Year, Bender, Legend of Korra are my shows. I love those two shows, so it's like, they, they're going to give it to us, I'm going to watch it, okay? Let me just say this, though. I think that if they want to be, because I know that, you know, obviously people are going to compare it to, you know, the cartoon and everything like that. And of course, it's going to obviously majority of it is going to be similarities and a lot of comparisons to the cartoon. But I think that if Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action show, wants to make fetch happen, if they want to, you know, do a little something, something different, if they want to do a little, you know, flip it in reverse, if they want to do something different. I think that they should put Zuko and Katara together. <laughs> if any of y'all have been on my channel, y'all will know that I am a Zook Tara shipper. I am a Zook Tara, you know, fan. I actually think they should have been canon. They should have been together. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not feeling Aang and Katara together. Like, it's like, I don't know. I got brother, sister vibes from them, like bestie vibes. Like, I didn't get like, you know, lovers, wife. even though, yes, I, it's quite understandable that Aang will have a crush on Katara, because, you know, she's Katara, and she's very beautiful, and everything like that, but, like, I don't know, like, I felt like she should have been with Zuko, she should have been with Zuko, and, and plus, I, I thought that it made more sense for her to be with Zuko, because just the histories between the two, and the the background and why Katara hated it. Like, you know, it could have been a cute, like, I hate you, then I love you kind of story. I don't know. They could have done something with this. I don't know. I just, I felt their chemistry be more appealing to me. I think that if the live action show wants to make fetch happen and, you know, because there is that section. I'm sorry. There is that. I, I feel like if we were to do a poll right now, I think that the Zuko Katara shippers would win that poll. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just, just me, that's just me, that's just me, but if they want to do something a little different, you know, do a little twist in the show, I think that Zuko and Katara should end up together towards the end, like, that's just me, like, and then plus, if you look at the live action, you know, the Katara in the live action, she looks so, she's way more older than, of course, because, you know, Aang is 12, even though he's, like, 100, and, <laughs> and Katara is, whatever, but it's, like, it's still, it's, like, I don't know, like, I think that, even though I'm not a fan of the casting, I'm not, of course, the casting doesn't look like, the live action casting doesn't look like the ones on the show. But I think that if they want to do a little something, something to make us a little happy, Zuko and Katara should end up together towards the end. That's just me. But anyway, I will be tuning in to Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action show, um, next year. So, 
will be, I'll be, I'm not going to say I'm excited, excited, because I'm, well, I want the show to succeed. Like, I want it to do really, really well. I want it to catch my attention. I want there to be a sense of urgency, you know? I feel like I'm missing a sense of urgency urgency from shows now, you know what I mean? That's why I'm watching old shows, because these, you know, I'm not getting that. It's very few that I will sit down and actually watch, you know, that give me, like, that, oh, my God, like, this is just great, you know? But I, I hope this show does does do extremely well because it is also a, a show that I love so much and I grew up watching and let's see what happens, you know, if it does well. So, but yeah, make Zuko and Katara happen. Okay. Next house of the dragon. Y'all yeah, already know I am a house of the dragon fan, even though I do, I, I have my, and y'all guys can go on my house of the dragon slash game of thrones playlist to watch my old reviews. I did discuss, there are a few critiques I did have with the show about them rushing things a little bit too much. Per, and like I said before, on a previous in previous videos, you guys can go on my my channel, my Game of Thrones House of the Dragon playlist and watch the old videos. I did say like I felt like you know season one should have just been young Rhaenyra, young Rhaenyra and young uh, Alicent, and then season two should have been grown Alicent and grown Rhaenyra. But whatever things happen, but I still love the show. I think it's good. Um, like I said, I can't wait for the you know it's coming out in August. Um, August 2024, I can't wait. Team Black, okay, yes. I'm giving y'all the team that I am on. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, I also saw this, so apparently, uh, Jack Cunningham, nut, nut told, has been casted as Darian Targaryen, youngest son of Al Queen Alicent Hightower in season two of House of the Dragon, previously starting minor role in Loki. He's very cute. He's, look, he's a little cute boy, little cute boy. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see. I, if there better be blood and fire and slaying bitches like Rhaenyra, get your throne. Get that throne. Get these greens the fuck up out of your face and get Sir Kristen Cole's bitch ass out of there, okay? Do what you need to do, all right? Uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, uh, avenge, avenge Luxeris, okay? Period. But, yeah. Looking forward to House of the Dragon. Looking forward to seeing what happens in 2024. Very excited for this show. <sighs> okay. I, okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I, listen, I am a huge fan of Stranger Things. I've never done a Stranger Things review, really. I mean, I've done, I talked about how, you know, because I didn't start my channel during that time. But, like, I was really, really, I really, really loved Stranger Things season four. I thought, they, they put their puss okay they ate that in stranger things season four i loved um three two as well i love um season three um as well to me i, I honestly feel like four three one and two like in order if I, as far as i go from like best to worst right now i would say season four season three season one and then season two are my orders it might change with season five. However, though, I was looking forward to the show. I am still looking forward to the show. But the way fucking Noah Schnapp, Noah Schnapp has not been, he's, he's, he's been really rubbing me the wrong way um, the past couple of months. He's been acting very disgustingly, to say the least, um, publicly and on social media. I felt like he's conducted himself in a way where he's very undignified and especially um the guy that plays um, what's his name Mur murray is it murray i think the guy, the guy that plays murray in, in stranger things listen he's very irrelevant you know we only know him on the show we don't know him in anything else so therefore it doesn't even matter for me to even go learn his name but uh noah schnapp has really rubbed me the wrong way and i don't know he's kind of really i don't know dented sort of like the stranger things thing for me low-key i'm still gonna watch the show hell i think i might bootleg it because i'm not trying to really give stranger things my money like like you know my views like that <laughs> might find one of those bootleg sites no shade okay to, to, to watch freaking season five because these because stranger things is my show i love the show and i'm so mad that these stupid idiots on the show snow snap and the guy that plays murray have been acting a goddamn fool publicly but 
Um, I am still looking forward to season five. I'm sorry. Like, I can't wait to see, like, what happens with this fucking, uh, uh, uh ver- what's it called? Um, uh, with the, with, with number one and 11 and what's going to happen, who's going to, and listen, there needs to be some deaths in the show. Okay. I, I, I don't even think that Max is fully dead to be personally, even though it's like, and cause it's like, it looked like she was dead and then she went back to the hospital. Like, so what is like, is she on life support or something? Like what is going on here? But I, I want to see what happens. There needs to be some deaths. Like y'all need to give it to us in season five. Okay. We need to get it. Like we need some ass kicking. We, cause they really set the bar really high in season, in season four. But, um, you know, season five needs to eat. It needs to eat. Um, Vecna, that's the name, Vecna. And you know, Vecna, Vecna, you know, Vecna's coming for y'all next. Like, Vecna is coming. So, um, y'all need to eat, but the world is coming to an end. It's, it's about to be Hellfire and Burnstone, okay? Like, the way season four ended, it's about to be crazy. So, they actually did start filming, or they're starting to film in 10 days. So, um, I'm thinking that we might get Stranger Things season five, maybe in 2025, I believe summer 2025, we might get them. So, um, we might get season five. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, what happens with this, but I don't know. I think I might end up bootlegging the show because <laughs> I don't know. No snap. I'm just right now. It's just like, he, he leaves a real bad taste in my mouth. It's like, I, I no snap is just not my cup of tea right now. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I feel bad because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, see strange days is my show, but yeah, I don't want to be supporting a Noah Schnapp and, a, and a, the Murray, the guy that plays Murray. So it's like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Lastly. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. I'm not understand. And listen, I'm not understanding what's going on with Pure Liars. Like where are the updates for this show? Like, I feel like I haven't heard anything so far. Maybe, maybe I haven't been doing my research. I don't know. But like, you know, I'm interested to see a season two of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. If y'all know on this channel, you guys want to go back to but go back to my playlist. Y'all know I'm a Pretty Little Liars fan. Okay, this is my show. I grew up with Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. When I told y'all guys like the original, obviously the original, <laughs> no pun intended, the original Pretty Little Liars show used to have me. I remember back in school, I. Like when a new, like when the season was coming back up again, a new season or a new episode was coming after, after I came from school, I used to rush home. Okay. To come and get ready to watch the show. Okay. That's what you, that's the thing. That's what you call a sense of urgency. Okay. When you have to rush from somewhere to go sit down at the TV, to go watch a show and be like, yo, bring me the popcorn. I don't want to get up from here. Like, <clears throat> and when this commercial break. You know, you run to the bathroom or something, and then you use the bathroom, and you come right back so that you don't miss anything. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, I hope there is a season two coming because I, I did. I feel like I did hear that a se- that you know it has been renewed. Um, even though you know Pretty Liars original sin is not like, you know, the first Pretty Liars. To me, I still think the first Pretty Liars is still more iconic, and the first season Pretty Liars was more great. I, I still like this one, you know, it still caught my interest. So, um, I am interested to see what happens is cause you know, this Pretty Liars is more, uh, this Pretty Liars original sin is more like Michael Myers, you know, Friday the 13th, very much. So, give, it gives that, that's what it gives, you know? And by the way, if you guys want to see my Pretty Liars original sins, um, episode reviews, you guys can go to my Pretty Liars playlist. I have some old reviews there, you know, it's cause it's been a minute, you know, and it's been a really long time. Um, so, and I, and I also think that the pandemic probably delayed a lot of things with this, with the season two. So, um, I am just interested to see what happens. Hopefully they, um, you know, season two comes out this year or next year. I'll be interested to see. I am interested to see what happens in season two. Um, you know, like I said, it might not be the first one, but it, it still caught my interest. I still like it for what it is. You know, so listen, I'm and hopefully it gets to the heights as like the former Pedro Liars. The former Pedro Liars, the ones I grew up with, oh my gosh, like uh, they, they don't that show have me gave me anxiety, okay, y'all? Like I was just like, oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. 
But um, yeah, it's just it brings a great, beautiful nostalgia, and I am actually happy to see that they went a different direction instead of going, you know, more so towards like what the previous show was. So, but yeah, I think that's really the shows that I am really interested in seeing in 2024, 2025. You know, how about you guys tell me what y'all are interested in seeing in 2024, 2025? Um, but yeah, so please don't want you guys to click on the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.